Hello and welcome to episode 7 of the Old Farm Countryside by Plowman Gaming. It's stopped raining and it's a little bit overcast. We've got a load of jobs to do today. So, uh, this guy's finished spraying. Uh, so we'll just finish putting him away. Um, some great news came in on a phone call last night our very good friends at Woods Motors have kindly leased us a new farm runaround um, they understand the uh, restrictions of having a, a small truck and having the new fields over at the at the new small holding right across from the main farm so let's jump in the Mahindra and uh, go and pick up our new toy uh, what it does mean is that we can sell the Mahindra and get some money now I'll be absolutely honest with you I have no idea what he's chosen for us the only thing I know is he did ask me for a colour and I said we'll have what's available and with that comment I understand white is what we've got so let's go and check it out Dan Augusta driving off to the shop yeah so thanks for sticking with us episode 7 um, constantly enjoying this let's play now we've got the two new fields it's going to bring added depth to the series <laughs> yes boss oh mate sweet right let's get this sold let's jump in that and let's see what it's all about so thank you Right. And it's got a fifth wheel pickup as well. So that gives us the option if we want to cart big machinery over to the new two fields, we can do with ease. Which, uh, yeah. That'd be quite interesting never really used anything like that because we were discussing having the smaller combine over at the small holding um, but we're going to see how the new Holland gets on um, that's where we're off now because um, it struggled in the soya bean field but I don't know whether that was due to the undulations or whether the head is just too big so <laughs> we have beacons <laughs> brilliant uh, it's just the little things just the little things that make me happy I tell you what though it handles like a dream that Mahindra was skidding all over the place But this is not too bad. Very good. So, yeah, the last episode we managed to get this harvested. We've left a little bit because it rained, but that doesn't matter. We'll pick that up with a drill. Uh, plan is to get this one harvested. Uh, you can see the new Hollands there already, ready to go. Let's just go and check and make sure that the drill is still at the yard. Um, we've got no cover there at the moment so it is out in the open with all that rain I just want to check over and make sure that uh, it's still okay new machinery you've just got to check it over and make sure that uh, yeah we're happy with that we are happy with that right 
Yeah, I've got to make sure that it's still all in working order. The last thing we want is to have spent all that money on a new drill and then the first night of rain. It doesn't work properly and it doesn't like it. But anyway, enough of my mumbling. Let's get in this combine and let's start harvesting. Do need to bring a trailer up here, but we'll sort that one out in a bit. So this is oats in here, so we're going to uh, use the straw. Um, debating what we're going to do, whether we're going to bale it and sell the bales, or whether we're just going to pick the straw up and uh, put it in the silo ready for the cows. But yeah, I think everything should be going pretty well. Yeah, we are having a few issues with this header, aren't we? Yeah, there's going to be plenty to harvest over at the main farm uh, later today. We're just drilling in one of the fields over there just making sure that when we do finally go back over there we've got a mass harvest on we will need to check the cows out at some point and make sure that they are still <laughs> alive I suppose uh, yeah so that's where we're at Now that's stopped again. Just seems to be the odd few patches. You can see the header rattling a bit, and um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure why. Um, if anyone does know, let me know. But I'll, yeah, it's making me really think now that we're going to need the smaller combine here. Um, with the fields being up in the hills a bit more, they're not as flat as the ones down nearby the main yard. So yeah, I think that's something that we're going to have to sort out. So it's a good job, Woods Motors uh, released us the new uh, fancy truck with the fifth wheel hitch so I'll have to have a look at some trailers for that and see, uh, see how much they are to lease. We may only just be leasing a combine up here I think for the time being until we've got the money to buy one. I think the combine we want uh, is the smaller New Holland. It's a base game model. I think it's about 105 grand and with a header you're probably looking at about 125. And that may sort it out. But yeah, it's not taking us long to do this field really, so that's good. Get this done quick. And we'll get a trailer up here. Yeah, so that rain from the last episode really didn't want to go away, to be honest with you. Um, I had to leave it till about midday today to get a little bit of hope of some half decent weather. But it gave us some time to set off some workers um, and just make sure that everything over at the main farm is running smoothly. It's 
So talking of running smoothly, um, the ploughman had quite a lengthy farm meeting again last night. Um, this time we were farming on our Mercury Mega Map. So the Mercury Mega Map, uh, which is the mega farm we've got on Mercury, is something that we started from scratch with all base machinery. Um, I think all in all we've got about 60 hours on that map. Started from nothing, uh, built the money up, bought the fields, had a little bit of help, only a little bit of help from the government, um, for those who know what I'm saying, um, over time and uh, we created some bigger fields which gave us the options to have bigger machinery with bigger machinery means it's just turned itself into a mega farm so yeah we really enjoyed that last night and uh yeah some little pointers that were made about this farm uh, uh the main comments were reducing the tractors as i was asked to do so as paid dividend really um so yeah like we said we're trying to keep it as real as we can but it's not going to be real it's a weird sentence to say but yeah that's that's what it's all about it's just making sure that we're doing things right. Can we get lift off? Oh, we can. Oh, right. We must remember that. Sorry, Woods Motors, I stacked it into a tree. And taking signs out. God, I hope they're not watching this. It's not the best advert, is it, really? <laughs> Letting us lease a new vehicle and uh, trashing it within half an hour. Uh, of finding a mini jump in the road. one right then Let's jump in the T7 go and get the trailer get over to the top field get that empty um, and then yeah we'll see what we can uh, see what we can be getting on with Yeah, because it's still early days with the two new fields, I am still needing the mini-map just to make sure I know where I'm going. Because I've had many wrong turns off camera. So it's just making sure that everything runs as smooth as we can.
here we are right So I think whilst the harvest is going on and we can set the workers off at the main yard, um, I'm looking to do some silage bales again. Because that was, uh, that was a good little bit of income. And I um, thoroughly enjoyed doing that. Let's make sure we get this oh, lined up properly, he says. Now I reckon I can leave that there and go and get that drill, can't I? And we can start drilling up here. oats now that will be yes we decided to do oats up here in that other field oh tree stumps and shrubbery I'm not used to all these tight little turns There is some undulations in these fields, isn't there? A lot more than what I thought when I did my drive through to come and investigate what the fields were like. <laughs> we're nearly going sideways. Yeah, this is going to need the smaller combine. This is why it's not picking up. Definitely. Right, so that's something we need to be looking at at some point. Let's get this harvest in, and after the harvest, it may give us the option to <laughs> it's like off-road farming this yeah it might give us the option after the harvest to purchase that smaller combine and keep it up here um, I suppose we could run two farms couldn't we it's just keeping equipment up here really but then again we could always lease it when we need it we've got the truck now with the fifth wheel on so Yeah, I don't even know if the Pronto drill would work up here because it is very, very up and down. Not very steady. 
but we'll see. Just get a couple of headlands on and then um, I think we'll see what the worker does. And I've just thought, the power of that new truck also, that might be able to come up and pick that trailer up as well. But we're in no rush. I suppose we should use it more as a farm vehicle rather than just sat there. Uh, ready for when we uh, want to go to sleep. Right, let's see what this geezer's going to do. you going boss that way right out and naturally we're going to miss a bit but that's not a problem we can go round at the end and uh, pick everything up I think that's the best way right well while he's doing that then let's dash across here and let's jump in that combine and get that back to the yard the trailer uh, I don't know if the combine will pick up the trailer. I've not done that before. Well, we will try. We will try. On second thoughts, we're going to need the combine to take the header, aren't we? So. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the trailer here. And the tractor can bring it down when he's finished drilling. We'll keep him going. Let's just have a quick check on him. Can we see him? I can hear him. He's doing all right. What are we worrying about? Absolutely nothing. Right then, back to the main yard. Yeah, we're trying to keep these episodes about 30 minutes long where we can. Uh, it makes it easier for watching I'm not one for trying to draw out too much into a let's play episode um, I think half an hour is best um, and yeah let us know what you think of the Marwell series uh, as well uh, really enjoying that um, just done a massive silage uh, yeah massive silage harvest on that so we're we're going to be opening that clamp very soon and then um, looking at ways to collect the silage to uh, to see what money that's going to give us now I reckon we can get down here we can. The beauty of having the mini-map open. And we will save. I have to keep doing that because I will turn it off and not know. 
and then you'll go so why has all that not been done <laughs> yeah it's better to be safe than sorry you see there's this other yard just here which we're not utilising at the moment are we and in theory we should be right let's get this back into the yard uh, and do some maintenance on it I think and then it's just going to have to go on harvesting again it's a workhorse that's what it does re-e-pair Right. Now, let's jump over to the cows. And just go and make sure they're all right. Now I've just realised I've got a bucket load of money in my account now. <laughs> what have I just done? Have I repaired that and then sold it? Oh. Oh, I got a bit trigger happy. I bet that's what I've done. What a nightmare. Okay. Yeah, they need a little bit of a clean out, don't they? Right. If I hook this up and leave. leave this up there again if anyone's got a tractor license please lend me it because I'm having a shocker at the moment right let's leave that there we're gonna have to buy another harvester aren't we because I've sold that that's why all that money's in there ah. <laughs> well at least we've got a new harvester out of it oh man alive Actually, we could lease it and keep all that cash. Yep, let's lease it. Right, what's going on with this boy? He has finished his job. Yeah, he needs seed in there. That looks like he's missed a bit though. Well, we haven't done that very straight, have we? Never mind. At least there's only going to be a strip that we haven't got. And that's why.
Oh, I just can't believe I sold that combine. Unbelievable. But on the plus side, we've made a bucket load of cash and we've made an executive decision to lease the other combine. Yeah, look, there's no combine. <laughs> sold it. Oh, sold to the nearest bidder. Brilliant. Right, let's put this back. And then I think that's going to be the end of the episode, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Leave us a comment if you're liking what we're doing. It is new to us. Uh, we are new to this YouTube thing. So, uh, yeah, show your support. And uh, I hope you enjoy what we're trying to achieve. Um, I think it's going to be something that I'll do later is pick up that other combine and we'll uh, crack on with the harvest. Right. On that note, see you in the next episode.